Okay, today we're going to be doing some foil embossing, some metal foil embossing. And we're going to be making our own cartouche with our name on it. You're going to do some research and write your name in Egyptian hieroglyphics within this cartouche in pencil. Materials we're going to need is some foil, some lightweight tin foil, a sharpie, a ballpoint pen, and it's got to be a ballpoint pen with a rolling ball. It can't be a felt tip pen. It's got to be a ballpoint pen. Any kind will work. We're going to be using a wooden stick that has a flat round edge and a pointy edge. And regular old napkin, paper towel, whatever you need. Okay. I did my research. I pre-drew my name. This is my name. You can figure it out later on. Okay. Once it's done in pencil, and you know exactly where you want to put everything, and it's going to be nice and spaced neatly, then you're going to take your Sharpie, and you're going to draw, redraw, right over the work you just did, and also outline the cartouche, both the inside and the outside. And the reason for that is, if we do foil embossing, and we put this on the piece of foil, and we do it this way, okay, it's going to turn out backwards. So what we want to do is we want to take our original piece that we did in Sharpie. We're going to flip it over. And now that we worked in the Sharpie, Sharpie bleeds through and you can actually see right straight through the paper where your symbols are going to be going. Okay, And that's how we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it backwards to start. So now we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to tape it onto the foil so that it doesn't move. I'm just going to use a piece of tape here, like this. And there we go, we're ready to go. It's backwards, it's on the tin foil, ready to go. Now I'm going to take my napkin, okay, or paper towel, whatever you're going to use. I'm going to fold it in half so it's really nice and soft. And the first thing, the first lines you're going to make are going to be the outlines of your actual drawing on top of the napkin, okay? I'm going to take my ballpoint pen and I'm going to start to draw wherever I see my Sharpie line, I'm going to draw. I'm going to press nice and hard so that the lines come out and pull through really well. I'm going to press really hard. I'm going to go really slow and let the ball point roll on top of the paper and press into the tin that's below it. And you're going to see a real sharp line on the tin. Take your time. Don't go fast. It's not a race. Once you're all done, just to make sure that you have all your lines drawn, you can take your paper and flip it up, see what it looks like. Up. Oh. There it is, I forgot a line. So I can flip my paper back down again and continue where I forgot. Check it again. Okay, looks like I got all my lines in okay. Okay, next, you can get rid of this piece of paper, the original homework, the drawing. Okay. And that's what you can see. Now, technically, this is backwards. So now we would do our work. We're going to take our napkin, move it aside. We don't need that anymore. We don't need our ballpoint pen. Now is when we need our piece of wood. Take this piece now that you just worked on and turn it over. This is the right side. This is the way it should look when you're finished. Okay, so now we're working on the surface on the front side. First thing you're going to do is you're going to see this piece of wood has a very pointy end and it has a flat end on the other side, very flat. We're going to start with the flat end. 
take that flat end and be right up and down, straight up and down, flat, hard on your desk. No napkin, flat desk. And we're going to rub as close as we can around your objects and all the lines that you made. As close as you can possibly get. Nice and flat. Keep that stick straight up and down. And go all the way around the edge. Don't go over your lines. Go next to them. Okay? This is going to make the lines pop out even better for me on the sides. Take your time. Again, it's not a race. I'm going a little bit quick here so you guys can get started and not have to wait for me to finish. But you go, you guys should go much slower. Okay, all the way around. Don't forget to get inside that cartouche as well. You should be able to fit all the way around. Now that you finish that, you take your pointy end now, point into the tool, and you get some real detail. You get up really, really close to all those lines. Real tight. And we'll make all your hieroglyphics pop out really well. sides, inside and outside, I forgot to do the outside over here. And check it out. That's our finished piece. Good luck.